And welcome to the channel, Decrypts here. Today I'm going to run you through how I personally enjoy using Banglo. I'm hoping if you're new to the game it helps you out, or if you fancy switching your main legend then this would be the video for you. You'll notice during this video that some of the clips you'll see are taken from my streams and others you'll see if you follow me on Twitter. It's worth me saying, at the time this video was released I think I was level 85 with 2100 kills and over 400,000 damage with Banglo too. You'll notice in this video that some of the clips don't actually match up with the audio like what I'm talking about at the time and that's just because I put them together by hoping you get a general feel for what I'm trying to explain in the video. In this video I'll be showing you how to basically uh, escape out of tricky situations, make strategic pushes, blind and confuse enemies, heal yourself and teammates, create a decoy to flank, open supply crates and help your teammates use their ultimate abilities. I wasn't actually able to get any clips of it but the smoke grenades can be used to help Bloodhound's ultimate ability which is Blood of the Hunt or something I think is called but if your teammate has that and you smoke the enemy out then you have a pretty high chance of wiping out the entire squad because they won't be able to see you but you can see them. It's also extremely helpful if you have a wraith on your team because you can launch two of your smoke grenades and you can create a rift between them and you're able to flank the enemy that way. I don't have any clips of that either unfortunately but I do plan on getting some out in the future so you can see what I mean. One of the main reasons I'm making this video is because I see a lot of people complaining on Twitter that they aren't able to pick their own legends which would be wraith, bloodhound, mirage, caustic, pathfinder and hopefully you can take some of them tips if you're stuck with Bangalore into the game and try and get the win for your squad. One of the first things you should know in Bangalore is that smoke grenades have a 30 second cooldown if you pop them both at the same time so always try and space the grenades out so the other ones always have time to cool down before you can use them again. As Bangalore is one of the smallest legends to use and one of the quickest, you want to be keeping the guns to a very close quarter combat type situation. So always go for the submachine guns. Like the, my favourite is the R301 carbine. Go with a peacekeeper with that. You could go with a wingman and a peacekeeper. Or my personal personal favourite is the Spitfire and a peacekeeper. But always make sure you've got the correct attachments on your guns, or the guns basically become useless. In the next couple of clips you'll see how I use Bangalore smoke and passive ability to wipe out teams but I'll just let the audio play so you can hear what I'm thinking in the situation and tell my team what to do to help me out. Uh. More people again? No. Wait, 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 don't push up, don't push up, don't push up, stay there. Try and just like start a gunfight with them. One thing you can do as well is sit in your smoke grenade and listen out for footsteps and relay that back to your team just for information so they know where they are. Then you can maybe use any ultimate abilities or you can even flank out of the smoke, climb up on boxes, up on buildings and just have an overall great advantage on the enemy squad that you're currently in a gunfight with. This is a nasty little situation I got myself in in the pit but I had two smoke grenades which I used and a massive shotgun and I ended up killing the team purely because of the movement speed of the passive ability and the slide in with the shotgun as well. If you're in a gunfight with another Bangalore always use her smoke grenade if she puts one down to push through and kill them as you'll see in the clip coming up where I'm telling my teammates to take a gunfight and distract them. This clip really shows how much of a pain in the ass you can be in terms of using the smoke grenades with a shotgun because I put the smoke grenades down and the other Bangalore didn't have a clue what was going on. Didn't realise where I was at all, running in from different angles, tagging up with a shotgun and then ultimately just leading to the down at the end and just wiping out the squad. If you see the enemy team has a bloodhound, be careful because they will rip you to pieces if they use the ultimate ability when you're in your smoke. It's happened a couple of times to me where I've popped her off thinking I'm fine. I've heard him breathing heavily and just died instantly. In terms of the smoke grenades, it's pretty useful to use them to heal yourself. Dip out of sticky situations in which you find yourself taking loads of damage. Heal up and res teammates. The smoke grenades last long enough that you're able to pop off a phoenix kit or a shield battery as well so if you have them on hand as soon as you gain your smoke pull one out, use it and get straight back in the gunfight if your teammates need help. I use a smoke grenade here to quickly slide through and res my teammates while my other teammates in the gunfight with the team. Another thing you should do is when you kill enemies 
check to see if they have an ultimate accelerant as this will help with your ultimate ability. Bangalore's ultimate has probably the biggest area of effect damage in the game next to Gibraltar's bombardment. Each explosion does 20 points of damage but this can also take shields off and stun the enemy so you want to use that whenever you can. Also really really good for third party and so if you hear two teams fighting and you have it charged up just chuck it towards them because you're either guaranteed to do some damage or get a couple of downs even maybe some kills so it's it's well worth it in the end. This clip is one of my favourites as it just shows how one smoke grenade leads to me wiping out an entire team in a house and they don't have a clue where I am. If you enjoyed this video do let me know now down in the comment section. These are my first couple of videos so I'm not feeling the most confident with them but any feedback would be appreciated. If you do like it though please feel free to leave a like and subscribe as this would help me grow my channel out and I would greatly appreciate it.